Jesse, after you. Uh, Josh, I think uh, <laughs> after you. Oh, no, 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 no. I must insist. Please, uh, after you. Oh, Josh, but I did it last time. Please. The polite thing would be to do for you to do it. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Welcome to Big Town Improv. We're a couple of um, uh, polite gopher characters from Looney Tunes, if you remember <laughs> those guys. Uh, I am one gopher. My name is Josh Pilch. I am the second gopher. <laughs> My name is Jesse Moriarty. <laughs> this is Big Town Improv. That's it's right. a it's a comedy podcast, is what it is. An improvised comedy podcast. And uh, now, Jesse, here's where we would normally describe the podcast. We talk about how we're going to tell some true stories, how we're going to do some short scenes, and then how we're going to do one long scene. But, Jesse, uh, all that's out the window today. What have you done, Josh? (laughs) I opened up my window, took the regular format, chucked it out like a gopher would. Josh, that's such a gopher behavior. You've been told about this. Uh, well, sorry. I, I'm a renegade gopher. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to apologize for the uh, attitudes of my co-host. I want to assure you that we here at Improv uh, Officials <laughs> yeah, do not condone tossing formats out of windows. Well, Jesse, I had to do it. Do you know why? Why is that, Josh? Because uh, we have a really special episode, and that's because we have a special guest. What? No. Two special guests. Josh, you've brought in two special guests? Uh-huh. I opened, I, I dropped the ladder out that same window and said, climb on up, you two. <laughs> Josh, this may get you some leniency in your sentencing. <laughs> Good, good. I was worried. Uh, uh, so, Jesse, listener, look who it is. Guests here in Big Town. It's Dorothy Culp Serrano and Carlos Serrano. Dorothy, Carlos, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, Gophers. Welcome. Hello, Gophers. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. I hope you guys had a didn't have too difficult a time getting here. Traffic was terrible. Yes. <laughs> Traffic was awful. <laughs> Jesse, uh, yes. the reason I we're, we're doing a different format is because we got two guests here for the first time. Uh, these yes. are, as you as you know, these are old <laughs> friends of ours, and, and we thought we'd <laughs> we'd try something a little different this time. So so instead of our usual segments, what we're going to do is a more conversation based episode where uh, we're going to talk to our old friends here, um, and that's going to inspire uh, various uh, uh, sections of improv, uh, uh, mostly you know my all thoughts. short scenes. You know my thoughts on variety, Josh. Mm. <laughs> Remind me. Is it good? I'm against it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad guess, Carlos. Well. <laughs> you can't win them all. It was a 50-50, really. It was. Mm, yes. it was. Maybe, you know, 25-75. Really? So, Josh, what uh, <laughs> what uh, what would you like to to talk about? Uh, and I guess I should ask, would you like words? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Dorothy, Carlos. Usually, we get into our conversation uh, uh, by getting uh, some random words, and they kind of inspire stories from our past uh, and and things to talk about. Is that, how's that sound to you guys? I like it. I don't know. I think I think you could sh- workshop it. Well. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I wasn't expecting well, to get notes. Uh, <laughs> well, I, uh, I have a whole I, thing I of notes also... here. I really would like to get into it. 
I do also have a random number generator if we want to try that. No, no I think I think the words are okay. good. Word stick with the words. Yeah. We'll we'll talk about alternatives after the show, but for now we'll stick with the words. Very well. Thanks. So. Uh, that's understandable. All right. Here are your random words for today. Landscape. Goalkeeper. Hmm. Dash. Obligation, fixture, recommendation, articulate, and license. Mm. Those are all very excellent words. I thought so as well. Yeah. So I hear I hear goalkeeper and dash in there. Uh, you did. Anybody else here play soccer as a kid? Yes. I did, but only for the popsicles. Not professional. <laughs> Popsicles. You yes. didn't play soccer as a kid professionally, Carlos. No, I. <laughs> you were in, a, in the professional children's soccer league. He was in the uh, junior FIFA league. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, I got taken out by um, by a leg injury. Is it? Uh, oh, and this is part of the bit. I I almost I was like, oh, yeah. you you have a leg injury story. <laughs> No, unfortunately. <laughs> That's it. That's I'm, it. Cut. I was gonna print, say. I was, I was gonna say. Unfortunately, no. But more like no, fortunately, no. I think. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, did you? I play? assume from. I assume from your tone that you played soccer, Josh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I did. Well, uh, well, and Dorothy, you said you did too. Yeah, I did. Me and my brother were both uh, enrolled for a summer or two in third and fourth grade, I think. Um, okay. Yeah. So we played, although I liked playing it casually at recess Mm -hmm. when I would just essentially kick the ball wherever I wanted. I think that the kids were just letting me (laughs) pretend I was playing with them. (laughs) (laughs) And sometimes I would be put in as a goalie. But other than that, it was mostly just I went in and decided to kick whoever I wanted whenever I wanted. So kick whoever you want yeah I was gonna... <laughs> yes absolutely i did the same thing with the football as well i would i would join in just so i could tackle some of the other kids to take out my uh my see, many anger issues <laughs> see when i was a kid i thought that the only rule in soccer was that you could not uh use your hands to pick up mm-hmm. the ball mm-hmm. uh, not actually true. There are a lot more <laughs> rules. Yeah. yeah. There's at least yeah. two. Yeah, at least. Um, Maybe so yeah, as many as three. You can't use a stick to, like, whack it at people. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's baseball. <laughs> Can you... I mean, is a dog allowed to play on your team? You well, know? Uh, is there anything in the rules? This is says, a dog <laughs> You know, it never came up. Yeah, I don't but. remember that. I don't remember them saying explicitly that a dog couldn't. <laughs> but raccoons were barred. Yes. Oh, okay. Je- Jesse, do you do you remember? Have I ever told my my most glorious soccer moment? Uh, I don't recall. I, I don't think I did. This was this was my one like sports triumph in my life. Uh, as I played soccer for a couple years, like um, probably like fourth through sixth or seventh grade or something. Oh. And the pattern that I, I noticed in like the soccer, the kids' soccer league, is that they like new kids, they would start out as like the fullbacks, the like defenders who like run in front of the goal but aren't the goalies. Like, mm-hmm. I guess that's sort of like the. Not uh, uh, maybe the least. I, I don't want to say the least essential, but the one that if no, they it's mess the least essential. It's, <laughs> it's the least essential. I remember that. I remember being one of them and doing yeah. nothing ever. So it's yeah. the least essential. And wow. and then and then the idea was you'd eventually move up to like and try like different positions, mm-hmm. but I never did. Uh, I <laughs> remained the, the fullback the whole time. And you I remember, were the perfect fullback. I remember. <laughs> thank you, Carlos. That's yeah. how I view this. Also, uh, <laughs> the perfect fullback. Um, uh, so, so this all came to my finest moment as a defender, which was like towards the end of my soccer career. Um, there was a. 
day where I was like, uh, I guess our team was doing well because mostly they were on the other side of the field, and, and I was just like, <laughs> okay, I I, I'm, I'm kind of getting why they they left you in the same. Position. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say I guess they were doing pretty yeah, good. I mean, seems like it. That that tracks to yeah. me. <laughs> It's the, the you want him on that side, but not continue. this side. So I see <laughs> I see someone from the other team running toward me, and I realize like oh, I'm gonna have to get the ball from him, and then but like okay. I kind of half think that, and then uh, the next thing I know, ev- all the like parents on the side are like cheering. They're like. They're like, yeah, Josh, like clapping, like, <laughs> like you know, way to go. That was awesome. <laughs> and uh, the thing was, like, I told it in that order because that's how I remembered it. Because mainly what I was doing while I was on the field was thinking about how I wish I was watching Digimon, Digital Monsters, <laughs> and not playing soccer. And I have no idea what I actually did to get the ball away from the guy or what was so good about what I did. And, like, <laughs> I, like, asked people after, like, so, like, what did I do? Like, <laughs> that's what I kind of, I realized I had peaked in soccer, yeah. you know? I, I blacked yeah. out and did, did the yeah. best I've ever done. You you were in the zone. Yeah, you were in Zen in mode. That's why you don't remember you it. You were in the digital world. You were. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, Digimon. I loved that cartoon. I didn't really watch it. You didn't watch Digimon? I mean, I did a little bit. My best friend was, like, obsessed with it. But, of course, I was obsessed with Pokemon. No. So I yeah. I was uh, one of those you, kids that was like, eh, Digimon. Enemies. It was. It's yes, true. we were. We both that, loved and hated each other. It was yes, right it was with weird. strife. It was weird how that, that, that made kind of a violent culture clash. It did. Uh, <laughs> it was, like, an, an, an early example of, like, elitism, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, oh, oh, you're you can right. tell a lot about a person. Uh, <laughs> <based> on, <laughs> who who is the elite then? Pokemon fans or Digimon fans? If, they if both you want thought my, they were. <laughs> yeah. If you want my opinion, um, and we do, and we do. I mean, I, I mean no offense by this, but <laughs> I always thought like that the Digimon people had kind of a a hipsterish air about them because they liked something that was not as mainstream pop. Absolutely. And I told Ashley that all the time when we were there. And I was like, I think you just think you're better than everyone because you're watching the show none of us are watching. It's true. Ashley, you're getting called out. Yeah. Which is like entirely not fair because it was obviously quite popular to have been mm-hmm. syndicated in the United States. It's not like they were watching some kind mm-hmm. of, like, you know, oblique Russian drama that they found. Uh, <laughs> right. Like Monster oh. Rancher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Monster Rancher? The true yeah. come hipster on, come on. child anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one's... That, so somebody out there will get it. Yeah. <laughs> that one person is like pumping their fist right now as they listen to their favorite <laughs> podcast and hear somebody say Monster Rancher <laughs> while they're in their Monster Rancher t shirt surrounded by their Monster <laughs> Rancher, Rancher paraphernalia. Wow, that's who our listener is? All right. Uh, <laughs> I, guess we, I guess we should cater to that a bit more. His Probably. name is Jacques it's and a, he's French. It's a niche I know market, this. but. Uh, well, uh, for Jacques, then, uh, should, should we jump into some improv? I'm ready. Absolutely. Uh, I'm ready. Uh, let's go. All right, team. Everybody get in here. Uh, <laughs> team huddle. Team huddle. Team huddle. All right. Ooh. Oh boy, coach! I think we got this one. <laughs> I, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. We we we're, we're playing. I know we're the underdog football team out there, but uh, okay. I didn't tell you guys. I've got kind of a. Um, uh, I've got kind of a secret weapon. 
All right, I auditioned some people. Oh. Auditioned? Oh, no. <laughs> you uh, had some people come in and perform a few pop moves. That's right. A some few, BTS I had them moves. Sing yeah. a few bars of football, and uh, <laughs> I picked the right person. Uh, not so dog. <clears throat> not a dog. No. Wait a minute. I've been wish, telling you, coach, that we could really use a dog on this team. I, think I that's told what you we're they missing. closed that loophole last year. <laughs> so. But did they? Did they? I've been looking it over, and I'm not so sure they did. Kids, kids, all right, come on, focus up. I can't have you guys fighting amongst the team about whether or not the the dog not being in the rules loophole has been closed up. But uh, <clears throat> look, I, uh, I I need to introduce you to our new player. Um, uh, his, uh, his name uh, is um, uh, Charity. And he is extremely <laughs> full of angst. Um, uh, he's a real emo kid, and that's why I picked him. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You're going to have to sell this a little bit better. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is a, uh, what should we, why should we welcome this emo kid on this team? Like, uh, you, you said that good? as though it was, you said that though it was self-explanatory, that his, mm -hmm. uh, is his it not? nature makes... We really, I would like to know more about what makes him a good fit for the team. Like, is he mm -hmm. physically talented? No, he's Does just... Does he know what a soccer ball is? Um, Has he played the game before? Uh, I, I'm not sure about all of that stuff, but look. <laughs> I wanted to find a kid who's so full of angst that he's going to take it out uh, on the on mm -hmm. the other team. He's going to... He's gonna, Use to his advantage um, uh, anything that um, uh, uh, you know. All of his pent up teen frustration is going to is going to come out in the way that he interacts. Uh, you know, maybe he'll start kicking people, whatever. Uh, Charity, why don't you come on out here? And uh, uh, <laughs> I always thought that our team worked so well because we were all so emotionally stable. Yeah, I mean, we all have really nice homes. We go home, get nice three meals a day. We all listen yeah. to our In Sync and Backstreet Boys regularly. I we feel like in, we have other interests beyond soccer that we are mm -hmm. able to, you know, indulge at a, a, a good rate. We have uh, we get a lot of support and uh, uh, encouragement from our parents. Yeah, and I have this rock collection. <laughs> Like this is why collection. we've got this 50-50 win, win rate. This is going to be the thing that puts us over the edge. And uh, uh, Jared, uh, you keep uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, talking back to me, so I, and I'm going to suggest that you be quiet now, and someone with a similar voice as you comes in, and that's Charity, the <laughs> the uh, new player. Yes, hello. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh it wasn't that similar a voice. <laughs> this oh. is my angst voice. I apologize. You Charity, have a different welcome. voice. God, look, can you hear the angst in his voice? Uh. I really do look. hear it. It's a lot. It's a lot of angst. I wasn't expecting this level. I okay. surprise people. So, um, surprise me that's for an sure. Understatement. That's why you're. That's why we want you on the team, buddy. I really look. Okay, we're about to. Uh, there's the bell. We're about to go. <laughs> go on. We're about to, about to field, go back yeah. on stage. I mean the field. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And yes, now the referee's got a gun. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Um. So I guess we'll just have to see how well Charity performs here, but. Uh, I really have to say that uh, I don't approve of this uh, method of uh, adding new members to the team. Especially since you apparently did it right in the middle of the game. <laughs> yeah, really. Why didn't you bring this up to us earlier, Coach? We could have planned for this ahead of time. Frankly, Practiced you know that guy, I have to have things know? planned. We, it, we can't just throw someone in. We have I, to emotionally bond with them. I'm not much for practice. I angst See? about it. See? That's no, why. That's this a... is why. This is this is the wild card we need. Now get out on the field. Come on. Go blue. <sighs> I Go suppose. Blue. I don't like that our team name is blue either. <laughs> it's just blue. <laughs> What's up with that? That's yeah, a mascot. <laughs> you know that? 
Yeah, just they couldn't the decide on blue. like a blue dog or blue cat or blue brick. No, it's they just the concept of thing. blue. I, I'm, not, I'm not here to take your notes, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, right. the referee I would have is preferred right. blessed. <laughs> All right. I guess we better get out there. Uh, charity. Let's go. I yeah. suppose. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's hope we can uh, we can handle it. We can uh, we work together well. Uh, yeah, let's hope our wild card's not that much of a wild card. Yeah, All seriously. right. As as referee, well, I'll start the game just like every game by tossing the ball up in the air, and whoever <laughs> kicks it first gets to move it down to the other side of the field where they want to be. <laughs> and here Out I go. Out of my way. <laughs> oh, oh, he pushed me. I the got referee this. Over. Now I can't regulate the game. <laughs> Oh shoot! Uh, chastity, chastity! While the referee's not looking, pass to me, pass to me, chastity! Over here, over here! Here you go. <laughs> I got it! I got it! <laughs> okay, good work, good work. Okay, now, now to me, now to me. I, I, I gotta, I gotta kick it. Oh crap! Ow, my ankle! Oh, oh ow! Oh no! Ow! <laughs> oh no! Chastity, you gotta take it. You gotta take it, man. Chastity. I'm doing it. <laughs> But okay, I'm you've got very to... sad He's about it. He's picking it up with his hands. He's so mad. <laughs> you've got a Chastity, clear line to the goal. The, the, the referee can't see what the obvious foul you're committing. Just take it to the goal. Quickly. I'm running. I suppose. He threw it in. Yeah, goal. We got it. Chastity. Ah! All right, uh, all right, come on, back, back to the, back to the, the sideline. Let's come get on. back to the green room. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's that's now you can now you can see why I wanted. I've been calling you Charity. Your name is Chastity. <laughs> no, name is it Charity. Can, I just thought that was a better name for him. Away. Chastity oh, is a way better name. Right. I'm not much for names. Yeah, we've all got we've all got cool nicknames. Yeah, uh, like I'm I'm. Bro voice <laughs> and uh, you're Curly. I'm Scrappy, and this is Chastity. Yep. Uh, Mo and Larry are in the locker room mm -hmm. right now. Right, yep. right. They should be here. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, that was great, Ch Chastity. You, uh, yeah, you really nailed that one. I see, you see what I'm talking about. Uh, and and I've good news. I've got. I've got. Uh, this was my experiment. Now I've got five more angsty emo kids waiting in the wings here. What? <clears throat> That's not fair. Coach, <clears throat> five? You want to talk about unfair? Uh, I, uh, I'm not allowed to drive my car anymore. I hate that. <clears throat> Yeah. Because your cars are probably stupid. Coach, we didn't need more than one angsty emo kid. <laughs> yeah, but look, you're starting to uh, uh, get get in on it. Uh, seems like. Well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that is that last angsty emo kid at the end of the line? Is that just a golden retriever? Oh my god, it is! Look, he's and, got and, black nail polish on his paws. And, whoa, and, whoa, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I can feel his pain. <laughs> Woof, woof. Now this is a disappointing example of late 1990s uh, <laughs> English dubbed anime. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, it's not as good as uh, uh, Evangelion's dub. I feel like that's the top tier mm, late like yeah. 90s dub, but you know, not everything can be uh, as good as Gynax. You know, they try their not, best. Uh, quite right, quite right. Uh, I must concur with you on all levels on that sentiment. Certainly, it is no Digimon. It, it mm, isn't. Indeed. Digimon would... had one of the best dubs of all time. Indeed. In Scoff. fact, my personal, 
<laughs> oh, um, what's blast, this then? Blast what was that? Damn it! No, <laughs> it's it's Lord Gromit. It is here <laughs> to uh, give his opinions yet again. Lovely. <laughs> oh, sorry, I could hardly see you from the angle I'm looking what? down my nose. Uh, That's probably yes, because yes. your neck is permanently stuck like that ever since you got into that terrible accident. <laughs> I met, we, we wanted to extend our condolences, Do Lord it. Grummer. Yes, yes, quite unrelated to my but, personality. I frankly, sustain. you're insufferable. <laughs> it's very difficult to have to sustain an injury like that while trying to stretch onto your tippy toes to peek over the windowsill at naked ladies. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm, well, uh, let's not talk about that. Let's go back. I believe. No, no, I want to say that I don't, I don't like Lord Gromit personally, but I feel bad about that because he has obviously been severely injured in an accident. I feel I guilty about my feelings. Indeed. I feel guilty, but I personally admire his dedication to the anime art of panty raiding. Yes, he is. He is quite. Uh... If if I may speak uh, 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 to my uh, of myself for a moment here, I I would rather like to engage in this um, conversation about the um, the uh, 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 merits of various anime. Anime. And, uh, if we are to do that, I I would ask you all to please stop. Um, you know, saying whatever disparaging thought you have about me, Lord Gromit, uh, whilst I uh, try to express my thoughts. Uh, as I was saying then... Uh, uh, well, about well, that, Lord uh, Gromit, <laughs> I personally feel that to a degree, and please, anyone correct me if you disagree, but I feel that Lord Gromit milks his injury for more sympathy no. to uh, to support his uh, various points. Observe, oh. like he, your r most recent article in the New Yorker, um, in which you uh, rate the various Yu-Gi-Oh series, and you put Yu-Gi-Oh five Ds at the top uh, oh, as uh, the yes five Ds uh, number scandalous. one. Scandalous. <laughs> yeah, yes, How but, dare but you? you? We all know it's number ten at best. And, but you begin the article in this way. You say, ever since my crippling accident in which my neck was permanently twisted upward, I have had a greater in appreciation for uh, uh, anime series based on collectible trading card games. And I just don't see how the two are related. Nor do you ever go into further detail in the article. <laughs> I, Reginald, I wouldn't be too hard on him. He does milk it a bit. I think you are right. I think no. he knows he's exaggerating a bit. But we must remember, he has his crippling heroin addiction that he must that is keep true. up. That is and the he must get addiction. as much of the to, press and the money as he can. To be fair, That's as time-traveling art critics, <laughs> we all have crippling <laughs> addictions to old timey drugs this is true i, I, I myself I love opium uh, if, 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 I, if i may uh, would anyone care for a pinch of snuff <laughs> pinch oh yes of snuff i would anyway. love thank to partake you. thank you <laughs> ah. excellent no no can't get those nosebleeds without there, help there are those who might suggest that the very idea of erudite, time-traveling, fancy British people who discuss critically various anime of the 1990s is a strange enough concept to begin with. But when you start <laughs> piling on listing attributes about me and... and so many unlike uh, pieces of information, including an opium addiction. That's serious <laughs> business. Uh, I quite is. Lord Gromit is going to withdrawal again. No. no. Opium. Oh, no. the poor dear. We will get you some cocaine some... and heroin. Oh, somebody right gets quick. the fainting couch. You shouldn't do that. Just but time actual... travel back to the 19th century <laughs> where such things could be legally purchased. And plentiful. They're it's simply not... raining upon us in the streets. But to your point, Lord Gromit, I suppose it is no more absurd 
than card games played on motorcycles. Absurd indeed, and thus mm, indeed. refuting your point about Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Mm-hmm. Check and mate, sir. I will take a small cheese from this proper platter. <laughs> Mm. Winsleydale, I believe. Fine, yeah. fine, fine, fine. I, I will concede that point. You, I, d- uh, uh, but you will, you'll never convince me, Lord Gromit, that there is any fighting monster anime out there better than fighting foodons. <laughs> oh, indeed, you would say that. Indeed. Just as you said that last year when you put on your big clown shoes yeah, and <laughs> wrapped yourself <laughs> in a shower that. curtain. That and was so funny. His, would, uh, his nose honking the entire time. <laughs> it was indeed. quite quite a lot. Walt- and waltzed into a room full of rabid minks to attempt to... <laughs> Convince them of your anime opinions. Uh, once again, Lord Gromit, you have made quite a fool of yourself. You have indeed. Even the weeb community agrees. Even the weeb community, which from our future year of 2145 <laughs> now controls the entire Western I, uh, Hemisphere. Ah, uh, yes. The weeb furry civil war That's of 2031. True. I remember... <sighs> Indeed. I remember how everything changed that year. That's yes. it. That's it. I've had quite enough of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to stick around here and have you list all of the strange true facts about my life. <laughs> I have Indeed, better. that is the thing about Lord Drummond. He does not stick around and let us list facts about his life. He no, does he always, not. He always stomps out in a half. And then gets on his unicycle and rides back to his home. Balance these plates and pull in my mouth. That dear in his philosophy. Take off my pants, revealing a pair of assless cowboy chaps. And now I will go home away from this. Well, at least he's not wearing the women's panties this time. That was one time! <laughs> oh, Lord Gromit. I will say it's never dull when he's about. <laughs> it's true. Certainly isn't. Now, who's up for more snuff and cocaine? <laughs> that was a wacky scene, is what that was. <laughs> that was. That was. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. The, the character work and, and the relationships that were built. I, yeah, I really... think the character development was actually really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I really critics. felt for Lord Gromit. I did too. He went from being just a nameless, snobby lord to a real human with flaws. Now, now real quick well, though, you. do you guys think that like people don't have heroin addictions anymore? Is that like an no, old time do. drug? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I live in the perfect world of Reagan's 1980s. It's just true. And uh, nobody I know does drugs, so therefore they do not exist. Dorothy, Carlos, mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, well, I, I guess we're going to go back into a little more conversation. How's that sound, guys? You want Sounds good great. to me. Words? Well, I was going to, I was going to, a- ask some questions now, Dorothy and Carlos. Questions. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to blow up their spot, but okay. And you know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you two are married. It's true. It is. I know there there were rumors running around, but we can in fact confirm, confirm that yes. we are married oh. and holy okay. matrimony. All right, and I'm finished writing my email to a tabloid. Uh, <laughs> How very dare you! We did not allow you to sell our information to uh, such tawdry <laughs> institutions as a tabloid. Uh, but so if I remember correctly, you guys have been together a really long time, right? We have. We have. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, We've been married t- 2014, mm-hmm. right? So was, about six years, yeah. but we've been together for seven. No, we've been together because it was 2008 when oh, we got right. together. So it's 12 years. That's marginally and more than seven. It is. It's uh, almost <laughs> twice that. Almost <laughs> twice that. Uh, oh, if I'm any good at math, and I'm I not. OMG but, is what I say to that. Yeah, that's that's amazing. <laughs> you, you, like, um, uh, 
I have this vague memory because uh, Dor- uh, unlike any of our other guests on this show, Dorothy and Carlos went to college with us. Um, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and, and we're the I, first. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember correctly, Dorothy, you were there first, right? Like before I Carlos was, was there. Mm-hmm. I, I have this vague memory of like when I first met you through Im- improv and you were saying like, I th- like I remember you saying like uh, like my boyfriend's going to come here and then lo and behold it happened and then you were together the whole time and now you're hey. married and it's what a mm-hmm. story <laughs> it's it's truly a hallmark uh, quality story right? honestly it is and I never thought that I would end up uh, in a relationship like that like <laughs> yeah. as we tell people because we knew each other in high school we weren't right. together but we were like best friends for like two or three years before uh, before we got together. And like I tell everybody that, and they're like, oh, you were high school sweethearts. And I'm like, we really weren't. <laughs> it is cute, but it's not cute the way you think it is. <laughs> that was funny. What, so what did, when you were just like um, pals in high school, like what did that look like? What, were, what did you? Well, it's funny because <laughs> it, once again, the, tr- the, uh, the conversation veers back onto anime. It does, as okay. it always will with us. Because <laughs> we met in a multimedia design class. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Dorothy was wearing a Naruto headband. And this was before <laughs> Naruto got real big in the States. Like, the All manga right. had had a little bit of a following, but the anime had not quite dropped yet here. So, like, my mom had it imported from Japan and everything. Wow. Because <laughs> wow. I was that big a nerd. Yeah. Now Naruto um, is big. Those headbands are, are big sellers in the uh, in the con communities. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, and they're all really cheap now. The one I have is really nice quality. <laughs> <laughs> but I I saw her with the headband, and me uh, being the suave, uh, uh, debonair man that I was and am, <laughs> I rolled up to her in my little wheelie chair yeah, because it was this very was a computer hot. lab. Oh, and yeah. I said, and I looked at her, and I pointed at her, and I said, "You're a ninja." And I flipped out, and I was like, "Oh my god, you watch Naruto?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Who's your favorite character?" He's like, "Hinata." And I was like, "Oh my god, she's my favorite character too." And then we just it went from it there. It was true. It was a true meet cute. It really was. A, it like, is actually. He that's used very, to do that, this. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> just, that's very adorable, honestly. Um, I'm glad that uh, that Carlos was not secretly a member of the dangerous Akatsuki planning to kidnap. Oh my god! Uh, you know, I Dorothy. was well, concerned about that for a bit with how enthusiastic which was, which, he was. Yeah. Which is, yeah. But you know, I think of the two of us. I was more likely to actually be dressing up, and that's when I realized I was more likely to have less anxiety and be part of that <laughs> yeah, than he was. That's fair. I I think even if he wanted to join Akatsuki, he probably wouldn't have been able to quite make that leap. Uh, We really want you, Carlos. Come on. (laughs) I don't know. I'm I'm kind of busy. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know. It's just a big commitment, you know? I like having my Friday nights to myself. I watch watch Naruto. I I don't know if I want to give that up. Uh, So what was, like... Uh, and, and feel I, I I apologize if I'm like prying. I we I, we've never done uh, like this like interview style before, but I am interested. <laughs> uh, like, what was what do you like remember? Like, what was the moment when you like decided like, oh, I, I we should be dating. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's hard for me because there were so many moments. I, I had a, we both had pretty big crushes on each other throughout mm-hmm. high school. I see. Um, mm-hmm. Mine went kind of back and forth because I had one or two minor crushes on one or two other people. But of course, I, I don't know. I think, I think, um, talking about just Naruto that first, that first <laughs> time, and. Uh, also, I asked you for advice about Jeff because I had sort That's of a right, question yeah. about Jeff, and Ooh. you were just so like sweet about it, and you were so like, "Oh, you're so great, you're so cute, he'll love you. You should definitely, you know, <laughs> just tell him." That's and, so nice. <laughs> oh, and you wrote that story, and I think you wrote it for Elise. I think somebody you may not have written it for her, but I think you wrote it with her in mind. Elise was his one of his girlfriends in high school. I think he actually dated more than I did. And 
he it was this really <laughs> romantic like little one shot about a couple and their first time and stuff and I got to beta read it and I remember just being so jealous of it's whoever a technical he, term yeah whoever he gave this to and I remember just being like I remember seeing you with Elise and being like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> I didn't say anything, but I was like, I don't like that. So I think that's sort of for me when I kind of knew. And, and then did one of you ask the other one out? Yeah, I did. Act surprising, nice. surprising even to me. It's not that no, you're, surprising. No, you're suave and debonair. Always have been. That's true. We've known, you were flirting we've with me the entire time we were friends. I just thought you were joking. So yeah. it really wasn't that odd. No, we. Uh, I asked her out. I think it was through Facebook Messenger. Yeah. Uh, because I was uh, visiting family in Mexico uh, the summer before starting college. Um and we, we talked uh, we talked pretty much every day through Facebook, um, and I just uh, I just figured you know I'm I I need I should go for it you know it was the summer before college I figured now was the time if ever so yeah totally that's 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 awesome what a fun <laughs> that's it so was cool. pretty awesome it was pretty great what did you do what was your first date. We went to see Wally. That's right. Nice. Yeah. yeah, we went Ugh. to the the mall and we saw Wally. And then my mom caught us making out in the <laughs> front of the mall nice. door. And I told her that's not gonna happen. And then she came up. Did she honk at us? I feel like she may have honked at us. Suave and debonair. Yeah. Uh, no, what was it? It was suave because like we were we were just like you know canoodling. We were sitting outside the door and we were canoodling and like we were staring at each other. You know, like young couples do. And then. I, I was like, uh, what you thinking about? And he was like, uh, I just about how much I want to kiss you. And I was like, well, why don't you nice. make it a reality? And then he did it. And I was just like, oh, my God. We were, I think we were both suave. I, I, I was reasonably suave. A couple of suaveys right here. Yeah. <laughs> we really were. Doesn't get much suaver than that. It's our favorite shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> that and... and uh, there you have it. The uh, Swap fan club. This has all been an ad. Uh, <laughs> Swap, please pay us. <laughs> what more do you need uh, to be the bedrock of a long-lasting relationship? Really? I mean, a just shared shampoo. love of Swap the shampoo. Yeah. I mean, that is, we do share shampoo pretty much. Well, that's that's uh, that's uh, far too wholesome and sweet. Uh, uh, Agreed. Should we jump into some more improv? Probably. <laughs> to, I think we to should. balance it out. Yeah, I think we better. <sighs> oh, Brad. <sighs> Can, can I just say, you know, it's really great how you and I can give each other advice like this about our individual crushes and people that we like. Don't you think, Brad? I am in total agreement, Barfella. I think that... <laughs> that uh, having someone who I can use as a sounding board about my various crushes uh, is is an extremely helpful thing uh, in terms of uh, relationship advice. Um, for example, um, recently uh, I have uh, developed a new crush on the lady yeah. who works at the Cold Stone Creamery. Fucking Tiffany, yeah, I, she's nice. You should go she's for it. You think so? Yeah. Because uh, I think she might be slightly out of my league have, uh, since she works at the Cold Stone, you know. Oh, Brad, Brad, <laughs> she's not out of your league. You're, you're just, you're so just wonderful and charming and nice. Your eyes are like beautiful blue pools and. Tiffany would have to be a fucking moron not to notice that. Anybody yes. would be a fucking moron not to notice what a beautiful, perfect specimen you are, Brad. Oh, yes, yes, I suppose you're right. Well, here we are walking past the Cold Stone now. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's stop inside. <sighs> when did we turn this way? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll just open the door and uh, enter into the establishment. Oh, we're going in! Fine! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Coldstone. How can I help you guys today? Hello, Tiffany. You remember Barfella, of course. Barfella! Uh, Hi! <laughs> yeah! I think I saw you over at that uh, Shipley's the other day getting those donuts. Nope. I You got a lot of them. They were really... Nope. I mean, you know, no offense, though. Like, you load up on that chocolate, girl. I get it. I, I, the, I had, like, a spoonful of it earlier of chocolate ice cream, and I'm... Oh, my God. I, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, th- I don't think that was me. I don't think that was me. <laughs> Uh, Are you but, sure? But, but Barfella, you uh, often have texted me late at night telling me of your love of chocolate. And uh, I have uh, reciprocated. I thought that would have been private. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute that you guys do that. I love that. Isn't it? I it's kind of like a thing you. between the two it, of us. It like, is. We just like, have so many things together. Isn't that true, Brad? <laughs> It is very true. Um, it's extremely true, and I and I'm very grateful to have Barfella in my life. But I have a confession to make. I did not come into the. <laughs> oh, con- you're gonna do this in front of me. <laughs> Fun. Well, um, Bar- I didn't come into the Cold Stone today out of a desire for ice cream. Um, oh, it's not for you, is it? It, You're doing this for Barfella. No, no, You're getting her no, no, ice no. cream. We can do a special for you. I, you know, we're doing a couple special right now. That if you oh, get one, oh you my. get the other oh half off, and you get <laughs> no, some free heart shaped cookies Tiffany. with that. We just partnered with a lovely bakery that's down the street, and you get free ones with this. Um, and then we sing you a little jingle. Oh. Obviously, I can totally do that. Or you know, Marge back there can do that if you want. I mean, I get it. I don't, you know. No, it's whatever. I don't. It, I don't mind. If we you got a couple, to... Tiffany. Yeah, Marge, we got a couple. It's Barfella and, oh, oh, Br- no. and Brad. Brad. It's Brad and Barfella. Oh, I told oh, you Tiffany. about them. Aren't they cute? You've uh, you've made an amusing misinterpretation of the situation. Um, well, which I'll be only too happy to clarify for you. We don't have uh, to. We could get. We can get free. We can get free baked goods from this. Please excuse me and Barfella for a moment as we duck behind this sign. <laughs> Um, or fella, what, 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 what do you do? Why do they know we're here? <laughs> I, why, what are you doing, Barfella? I, uh, oh, geez. I don't know. Geez. I just mean she made a mistake. I mean, I guess it's an easy mistake to make. Maybe we seem like a couple, and so like, why not right. just reap the benefits and then like maybe think about why we seem that way and sort now, of now, 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 Barfella, you know. Uh, you know, I am always willing to participate in harmless scams to get free uh, ice cream. Um, Wait, or... is that what's happening here? Quiet, you can't hear us. Are you baiting me? <laughs> Are you baiting me so that you can get free cookies? Is that what it is? Did, did Deborah tell done. you about this? She told you that I needed to meet my quota for today, so she was going to have you come over here and get these cookies. I can sell these by myself. Thank you very much. Deborah! You see what you've done, Barfella? You've you've caused in in your efforts to to help me get a relationship with Tiffany. You've driven a wedge between us. A wedge, oh, Tiffany. Darn! What a mistake I made. Oh well, guess we'll have to just keep walking on out of the cold stone. Just you. No, and no, together. you. Huh? You should step out from behind this sign and and uh, tell Tiffany the truth. You're gonna make me do that. I, I mean, I'm not going to make you. I have no actual power to, <laughs> to make you do anything. So are but... you going to get some ice cream or what? Because, like, I can't Patience, give you the deal. Tiffany. If you're... <laughs> Patience. And I don't want to give you this advice, but you should not talk to her that way if you want to date her. Barcella, I think your boyfriend is, like, a little controlling. Do you want to talk? Do you want to, like, come back yeah. here? The boss is, like, never here. Do we don't even see the boss. not join her behind it's... the ice cream counter. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to come right back here. If you're having some problems, girl, you can come back here. Marge is back here. We can yeah. get, we have plenty of ice cream. That Marge! Barfella needs some important... ice cream! Oh. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that Marge uh, John Smith back there? It is. Oh, my little friend who follows me around. I always think of her as just a close friend and nothing else. Hi, Marge. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> what? Marge was what? just telling Dad? me the funniest story about you, Barfella. Marge, tell her, tell her. We were just you were talking, talking about, about you. Me, Marge? Perhaps I we don't... should refocus this onto me. 
Brad, now, Brad, do not the... make me, do not make me call the mall security guard over here, okay? Because me and Dale get along really well, and I do not mind cashing in the favors he owes me, okay? You so think... do not make a scene. Don't throw me out of this cold stone again, Tiffany. I've ha- I've had enough of it. I, I'm a paying customer, and I deserve to be able to treat the employees in whatever manner I see fit. Well, are you going I to buy the ice right. cream? <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Marge. <laughs> Tiffany, were you calling for me? I heard uh, my name come out of your voice, and my heart went to flutter uh, because we're friends. Oh, uh, it's Dale. Dale. The eight-foot mall security guard. (laughs) That's right. I'm eight feet tall. (laughs) Dale, uh, could you bend down just a little bit? I can barely see you up there. Dale, this... (laughs) Why does he make a creaking noise? This dude is harassing a lovely customer of ours who just wants to get some ice cream and talk, and he had the nerve to talk back to us when we told him to calm down. He is making us very uncomfortable, and I have told him that if he does not stop in these ridiculous harassment actions that I am going to have him removed. Do you Uh, think you could talk to him? And he doesn't appreciate a good woman. He doesn't. That's not illegal. (laughs) Hold on, hold on, Brad. I I know you from school. Uh, yes, yes, it's a small town, and we all know each other, Dale. <laughs> uh, why why do you keep coming in here and talking to Tiff to Tiffany like this? Because well, can I level with you man to man, Dale? All right, sure. What? <laughs> uh, the truth is, I have a bit of a crush on Tiffany, and my dear friend Barfella uh, advised oh! me. Have a crush on Tiffany. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> now, um, oh, fuck I'm just I'm, here. Now remember that if you were to use your position as security guard to uh, to uh, remove me from the premises for uh, ulterior motives, that would be unethical, Dale. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the wrong thing to do. I wouldn't no, want to do something like that. Oh my god, like... Dale, I forgot. I've got new pictures of my kittens that I meant to show you. So while you're here, look here. Sparky, isn't <laughs> she cute? There are other things going on And here. there's no. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, you should just come around behind the counter. You know? No, you know no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, all right. Here I come. Uh, <clears throat> well. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm buying ice cream. And you now you have to, you have to listen. I'm getting the, the mint chocolate chip. Uh, and, oh, uh, oh, it's me, chocolate ice cream. You want to get mint chocolate chip? Oh, how nice for you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we've been really trying to deal with that, but, you know, she's just really heartbroken for the fact no, wait, that wait, mint chocolate wait. chip is yeah. summer, oh. so mint chocolate chip is really popular right now. No, 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 I, I need to take a minute here. Dale is, a, Dale is eight feet tall. Which is unusual, but not exactly outside the realm of possibility. Right. However, and everything else that has occurred has been whimsical, but not impossible. However, I've just been spoken to by this chocolate chip, and I am reevaluating my entire understanding of reality right now. I would like well, to know. Well, that kind of sounds like a personal problem, Brad. I think that you should see someone about that, and that's not me. So if you're not going to get some of this ice cream, you can go. Does the mint chocolate chip also talk? <laughs> I don't know. Let's ask it. I'm not interested in you. That was fun. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we, if we die in a scene, do we die in real life? Yeah, that's actually a legitimate concern. I haven't written my will yet, so yeah. well, if I well, need to get that squared away. Only if you do the kind of lazy improv we do where we, like, uh, just use our own names and barely <laughs> are a character. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're risk. yourself. It's a risk. <laughs> yeah. Living um, life on the edge. Mm-hmm. Dangerously. Living mm-hmm. dangerously. Um, what else is there to talk about? Uh, haven't, well, I guess uh, I haven't seen... 
I I had barely seen Jesse since SCAD. I haven't seen you since since SCAD college. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, SCAD is the college we went to. Listener, scab. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> if you're out there, um, that's a scary time post graduation, right? Like, oh my god, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, no, sweetie, top. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's not fun to talk about. I'm not sure, but uh, like. Um, 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 I, don't know. Well, I was fortunate though uh, mm-hmm. that I got to I got hired at an advertising agency pretty much straight after graduation. Okay, uh, so that was that was pretty lucky uh, on my end. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did a lot of very hyper focused uh, uh, marketing with towards uh, uh, the uh, towards Hispanic audiences. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, did you like that job? I did, actually, looking back on it. Um, uh, I did a lot of social media stuff, so it was a lot of uh, uh, very short, uh, uh, ta- terse, not terse, but <laughs> very short <laughs> uh, copy. <laughs> um, one thing that happened while we were there, we so we started out in, like, small little offices, and then... Uh, a couple of years into it, I guess they thought we need something to show off when we give tours for potential clients. So they took this chunk of the second building, of the second floor of the building, and just converted it into like a high tech, like social media space. Ooh. So we had like TVs all over one wall, and they were all set to like different social media channels there was like one for news uh uh for like the cnn and other 24-hour news channels um just like you know really big and 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 fancy so that people would come in and just go ooh and ah over it that's cool uh and um uh did that happen often like were you giving tours often like or people were like it wasn't like all the time, but um, especially towards like the 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 later end of, of when I was there, um, they definitely they definitely milked it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> every time, it wasn't even like even potential clients, just any sort of like visit from somebody to the agency, like a personal friend of the CEO or, or what have you. They would come around, and we would have to like uh, we would all have like our own little like introductions. Uh, that we had basically memorized. So they would come in, we would stand up from our chairs and be like, yes, hello, uh, my name is Carlos, I am a copywriter, and this is what I do here. It's like the Please. sound of music. It's yeah, like, pretty much. Each kid, each child, please sing your piece. And then at the end of each work day, you know, so long. Yeah. Farewell. Yeah, of course, yes, I went yeah. around... Saying good night to all my coworkers before going home, <laughs> and of course all the townspeople. Uh, <laughs> it's a very small town, Houston. The one of the smallest in the country. Is that? Re- I mean, I uh, I have no time to double check, so I'll have to take your word. No, it's not. <laughs> it's more of <laughs> more the opposite. It's yeah. more of a Hamlet. I don't know. I'm in New York City. Uh, oh all well, we can't small. compare that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they Only would. in New York, baby. <laughs> Bada bing. Bada bing. We all say it. Uh, how about how about this? Worst jobs. What's everybody's worst job? I worked at a Tuesday morning, and I I accidentally. What's, what's um, that? Oh, I guess I guess it might be regional. A Tuesday morning is <laughs> no, like we, a. We, we uh, have them in California. Okay. So okay. I guess okay. it's just. So you, Something the East Coast. So you don't to have escape. to explain it, but I won't understand. It's <laughs> just a store. Yeah. It's like a. It's like a sort of a discount store. They get uh, merchandise from like uh, sort of like Overstock, uh, and they sell it for cheap. Uh, so it's like a real cheap store. Okay. Um, and I used to like Tuesday morning because I could get some good deals there. Yeah. But I went and uh, not long after graduating, I got a job there for the summer. And um, they really only hired me for inventory because they had to do inventory. And they have a lot of, Tuesday morning has a lot of like individual things rather than huge sh- chunks of brands. So like, I remember one day, actually it was like a whole week, I did nothing but candles. 
because <laughs> there weren't a lot of each candle. So there was a bunch of individual candles. I was having nightmares about <laughs> candles and that's <laughs> never happened to me. And like, I was so depressed at one point. I, I overslept on accident, which had never happened to me before for a job. And I woke up to them calling me and I was so embarrassed Aww. I didn't even pick up yeah. uh, and that I just didn't go in. <laughs> so <laughs> I was just that, I was, it was that low. I was that unhappy yeah. that I was just like, nope, this isn't worth it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was there for maybe two and a half, maybe three months at most. And it was horrible and I hated it. Did you, did you go back in another day like nope. follow. I was no, a coward. I was a coward. That was and it. I, I, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that's not a coward. That rules. I, I feel <laughs> kind of bad about it because I didn't really like the boss, but like I, there were people uh, there that were nice enough, and I feel bad because you know right. it sucks when somebody doesn't turn up for their shift it's and you true. have to deal with it. But like it did feel good just not yeah, going I in. This was like yeah. I hate this job. Good riddance. I hate it. Um, it's just like. Oh, I don't have to actually. No, <laughs> I just wrote it off. I didn't. I don't even to this day. I never put it on my my resume. I just pretend it didn't exist. And uh, I remember the next job I got, which was at a tea house, which was one of my favorite jobs that I've ever had. They didn't even know about it until very close to when I was leaving. And I was like, Yeah, I worked at a Tuesday morning once. And they were like, You did? And I was like, Yeah. And I hated it. And I I just quit. And they were like, No wonder you didn't tell us. <laughs> I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> You, you know what? Uh, I'll say this. Listener, if your resume doesn't have at least one lie on it, you're doing it mm-hmm. wrong. You really it's are. <laughs> Just yep. put in any little thing that you can exaggerate and leave out the stuff that you Why know is going to come you? back to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's just common sense. Like, after a certain point, if you've had enough jobs, you don't need to put them all on there. So if there was one that was you left on less than favorable terms, or maybe mm-hmm. you did, but you weren't like their best worker, just don't put it yeah. on there. Just uh-huh. don't, don't risk it if you don't need to. Like if you're desperate, <laughs> fine, but otherwise don't do it. Yeah, or maybe yeah. if you were an animation intern and had no proficiency <laughs> in any <laughs> software, <laughs> say you were a professional animator with proficiency in all the software, for example. How did that yeah. work uh, out? Fine, fine, <laughs> I just learned <laughs> it. <laughs> All I'm saying is uh, my resume says that I am proficient in Adobe Photoshop. (laughs) And by that, I mean I can open the program, possibly open a new uh, canvas. Mine says I'm proficient in Illustrator, and I am absolutely not. (laughs) There's one thing that SCAD did not do for me. It was teach me properly how to use Illustrator, and I still am mad about that. But I have it on there, so... (laughs) I mean, there's... I, I'm proficient in like InDesign and stuff, but I just don't I don't like using them. So like, <laughs> yeah. I I actually left skills off because I was like, I don't want you to know that I can do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that's good. Honestly, in my experience, even if you don't put them on there, if you yeah. get a certain kind of boss, they're gonna be like, you can do this, right? And oh, you're gonna exactly. be like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Totally. Uh, I can do PR, sure. That's something that I've done before. Absolutely. No. <laughs> uh, yes, this is good advice you're getting from Big Town this week. It's true. Uh, what do you say, guys? Well, one more uh, round of the old improvisation. Let's, Let's do it, yeah. Josh. Let's roll. One for the road. going over your documentation here, Lord Gromit, you say that uh, (laughs) you uh, have experience as a critic. That's very interesting. That's right. Uh, um, And uh, so I assume you have uh, writing experience? Indeed. Uh, I've provided a sample on the other side of my uh, CV. Let me just turn this over. Let's see. Oh, an article for the New Yorker. Um, mm. Yes. About, about anime. Yes. Uh, now it's interesting. I was going over your uh, your pro, your uh, resume here. Yes, and, my CV. Um, but then I checked your LinkedIn profile, and it had a job <laughs> listed that I didn't see on here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It, it said you worked as some kind of time traveling drug addict critic for like a year. <laughs> 
Uh, I think you will find that all the relevant information about me exists right there on my CV, which is what yeah. we British people call a resume. Uh, uh. And uh, sure, did I leave off a few things? Well, I can't put everything on there, but uh, everything you need to know is right there, so I would ignore the LinkedIn. It's not important at this moment. Uh, well, it's really funny because uh, when I checked out that link, it turned out a couple of your contacts are actually working here from that previous oh. job. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> so I thought I'd have them come in and uh, they could uh, explain how it was. That's not Well, well, if it isn't uh, Lord Gromit. Oh, my. Gromit! <laughs> So I, long, darling. I see you're also uh, applying to work at this CVS. <laughs> <laughs> we all have such a good time here. We love working here, don't oh, we? Yeah. Free drugs. Uh, look, uh, yes, I suppose you've all noticed there's not much work for us time-traveling critics anymore. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, this... Um, uh, um, Regional managers heard all they need to know about me, and so you all can go now. There's no further oh, no. details about Lord Gromit that need to be expressed at this moment that aren't on the CV. I well, don't no, know. I what do. about that time we were at that party and we had much too much wine and other substances, and he put on that lovely and adorable, what was it? It was a wolf costume. It was a wolf costume, yes. It, it was, was a wolf, wolf costume, costume. indeed. Yes. And he ran around and he was barking and howling at the storm and sitting on his haunches begging for wine. It it's was true. quite adorable. We found out after the fact that it is okay. actually a sexual fetish of his. This is all quite <laughs> out of context. Uh, it, uh, uh, or, or how about the, uh, the time that Lord Gromit and we went out on our yacht uh, for a weekly excursion to the Maldives? Um, only to find that Lord Gromit is actually an expert sailor doing is after being stranded for one year in the 1700s and having to become a pirate. Well, well, so see, that's actually a skill. P -p Perhaps, see, that means I'm resourceful, and uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's good. And uh, there's no other elements to that story where I was a pirate. Uh, uh, well, except... Except Didn't you say something about having to drink your own urine? <sighs> Exclusively. Not, as, I, as I recall, not having not to. Not having what, to, yes. Water was available. Wanting to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was uh, stranded on a freshwater <laughs> island, but I preferred no. to drink my own urine. Uh, uh, and let us not, of, uh, let's of course not forget... Um, the uh, the time that Lord Gromit <laughs> uh, purchased an all white suit and wore it after Labor Day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's hardly as embarrassing as all the rest. So it adorable naivete. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, well, I think actually the position has been filled, Lord Gromit. What? Um, no. What? After the Labor Day one? <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, the one. Uh, listen, we'll call you. They take you. their fashion oh, very seriously. That's it. That's it. I've had it. Everywhere I go, I am plagued by people reminding me of all of the, yes, true, but embarrassing facts about my past. Well, that's it. I'm done with the past. Hmm. Open up my time travel watch. <laughs> beep, beep, boop. I'll oh, see you at the end of time. Boosh. Oh, no. That seemed like oh, a slight overreaction, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> did we warn him about the time universe no, yes, eating chipmunk? I don't know that we did. Oh, I, I, oh we must have done. We must. Have yeah, we must. I, yes, I hope he knows. He must know. We are such good friends. Ah. Uh, here I am, finally, all alone to express my quirks in the way I see fit without risk of judgment from any other beings in the universe. Uh, all right. Uh, so, first, I will roll up one pant leg. <laughs> um, I'll put on half Lord of a Michael Gromit. Jackson mask. Oh! Uh, who's here at the end of the universe? 
It is. It's your friends. We've become one with the universe. It's oh, lovely fuck. out here. We are part of the universe now. <laughs> oh, this is. I mean, I guess we always were in the sense <laughs> that it's we quite were a life in the You must admit. <laughs> this is. Oh, Lord Gromit. This reminds me not unlike that time that you uh, <laughs> revealed your embarrassing allergy to bay leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I had a rash all up and down my only my groin and nothing else. <laughs> nothing. Why were you rubbing the bay leaves on your groin? To this day, I don't understand it. <laughs> Wait That's a minute. Such an odd quirk. I have a question. Yes. Yes. No matter where I go, no matter where in the universe or where in time I go, you three are always there just waiting for me. And I've always assumed it's because uh, you're my enemies, but I'm starting to realize you're, you're always there trying to talk to me, get into my graces. Do you guys like me? What? No, what? you work for Allstate. What? Uh, this is preposterous. You're, what? you're speaking nonsense, Gromit. It's true, no. <clears throat> of course not. That's absurd. Why, why would we be your friend? Why would we like you? You're ridiculous. All right, okay. Yeah. Uh, good, that's good oh, to yes. know. So, so you all then probably could give me advice on uh, how I can talk to my beloved, the world-ending chipmunk. <laughs> that oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a blast. I, I, uh, no, I enjoyed it. That, yeah, that I was fun. It. Yeah. I quite enjoyed it as well. Jesse, I guess that's it for another episode of Big Town. Do you think that that's it for another episode of Big Town, Josh? That's what I think. Oh my gosh. Well, Josh, Pilch, um, where can people find you online? Me? Where can yeah, they find you, me? That's well, what I, I asked. Well, I guess you can find me on Instagram at the Josh Pilch Show or on Twitter at Josh Pilch Show. And watch uh, Death Hacks on Snapchat. Download Snapchat just to watch Death Hacks, then delete it. I don't care. I just want the numbers. <laughs> and for the anime filter. It's <laughs> yeah, true. Of course. Uh, it always comes back to that. Jesse, uh, where can people find you? Well, Josh, I can be found on Instagram at jesse.moriarty and on Twitter at Jesse Moriarty, and I encourage you to do so, um, though obviously there are no consequences if you don't. Yes, <laughs> I wouldn't expect there are. Uh, Dorothy Culp Serrano and Carlos <laughs> yes. Serrano, thank you so much for being yes. our special guests. Thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, it was great. Uh, it yeah, was a lot of fun. It was uh, uh, genuinely so nice to talk to you again. It's been a long time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's been. Uh, is there, uh, do you have any things to promote or somewhere online that people can go and tell you you did a good job on Big Town? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm not promoting anything, but I do have both Instagram and Twitter, and I do post art occasionally. So if anybody wants to see my terrible art and stupid fandom posts uh, where I talk uh, about by, stuff, about by which fandom we, stuff. By which she means uh, amazing art and uh, great fandom posts. It's, it's, it, thank you, sweetie. It's, um, <laughs> I'm on Instagram at Cult Fiction Casual, and um, on Twitter, I think I'm just Cult Fiction, I think. Cool. Uh, well, check the show notes, and well, you'll know for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Dorothy is a great artist. You should definitely take a look. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Carlos, do you want to be found or no? Uh, <laughs> I'm still finding myself, but if anybody would wow, like to that's help. really deep. Aren't we I all? I know, right? Uh, I am on Instagram at uh, Funkopolis. Uh, be sure to check that out. Cool. All right. Now, awesome. Josh, do you know what I like? Do you know what What's I like, that? Josh? What's that? I, I like music. Oh, I like music, too. Do you guys like right. music? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, uh, 
maybe have you been hearing that music that's been transitioning us between the segments of our show and at the beginning what? and eventually end of it? I yeah, have, oh, wow. that's, that's been pretty it's great. It's weird. I kind of just thought it was like following us. <laughs> Um, it was really odd. I, I don't know where it was coming from. Uh, I should have warned you. That's our uh, completely original music composed and performed by Steve Wilder Blumenthal of WilderBlueMusic.com. That's what you've been hearing live for real in your life. It sounds amazing. It does. If only I could have this follow me everywhere, including to work. We would all uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. And transition uh, between scenes with that. Um, yeah, I, I'll be like, I'll be like, uh, okay, this was a good work meeting. I'll see you later. And then you're just, and then you're just somewhere else. It's great. Exactly. Yeah, yes. you don't have to have the travel time. You're just yeah. there. Well, Josh. Uh, well, Jesse. I guess from uh, the uh, time traveling, drug addicted, uh, anime uh, critic. Uh, gallery all uh, the way to cold stone creamery, creamery. <laughs> to the emo soccer game <laughs> and from the emo soccer game to the end of the universe <laughs> and from the end of the universe back to big town cold stone <laughs> back to cold stone no carlos Where is right all began <laughs> back to cold stone and then from Coldstone to Big Town. From Big Town <laughs> to, your to your town. town. Okay, guys, we're going to say bye. Get ready for it. Here it comes. Bye. 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 I remember when you said bye to those uh, alpacas. <laughs> I'm vanilla. <laughs> And I'm Tiffany! <laughs> <laughs>